blood on our hands. Being human is not by degree, but every dimple, every idiosyncrasy, every ambiguity shape sharing, and discord clicks the drummer of diversity. Riches abundant for harvesting, rot and fester and grow virulent. Last command played is our collective cue. Contours become familiar and fashion our self-interest. We justify Holocaust. We breed terrorists. We fear what we fail to understand. We, them, us, to dust. We rub the ash from our eyes to see humanity, then weep for our losses. Tears are human. Once shed, how do we see absence? I can no longer share two pearls everywhere anymore, says the poet of a potent poem. I reach that place every time, that place of loss. Tears ever too tragic, too close to hearts broken, too close to torch towers of unbendable unknowns. The horizon silences me. Tears cleanse, no apology. Terrorism incinerates, no purification. This bears witness, no mirror, buried truth. It takes more than we can be prepared for. Speak of precious life. Truth reveals, says the speaker, who wants to be believed. Pellucid events shall not be. If we all have blood on our hands, it will relieve us of our blame, our unknowing. True? Under an illusion of innocence, under a carapace of fear, under siege, we unite. We are unsettled errors, horse like a Trojan interlude befalls as destiny, unsuspecting every contradiction, every certitude, every confidence, and intoxicating residue. Sanctified dust. There's were misdeeds, a depravity brazen. Remains a repugnant privation. Once resplendent towers cast shadows on the sidewalk of our humanity. Casualties in a world where death is unanimous in nostrils, in eyes, in lungs, a bloodless ash. Being human makes us quite capable of every wickedness. Intolerance, indifference, ignorance inevitably wounds. Us to dust. Consumption binds us. Self-interest and ideology curse us all. As bloodlines shape our causes, causes shape humanity. We all have blood.